the wall is getting hungry. Over 2 billion people suffer from various forms of malnutrition globally. More than 2.6 million children die every year from nutritional related deficiencies. Africa constitutes the largest portion of this percentage. Most countries struggle with the challenge of feeding its population. Perhaps a bigger challenge is the quality of what they have been fed. Food security does not directly translate into improved nutritional status. Most of what we eat does not contain the nutritional benefits needed for a healthy growth. This is a project that aims to change the status quo. The government of the Gambia is committed and will continue to be committed to ensuring food and nutrition security for the Gambian population is at the priority agenda. The good news is that opportunities exist for low-cost food fortification here in the Gambia, as has been seen in many other countries. The European Union has been actively engaged throughout, helping to put undernutrition on the agenda and to tackle it. In doing so, the European Union has set itself some extremely ambitious, but achievable targets to combat undernutrition globally. The EU funded food fortification project is fortifying stable foods in the Gambia with essential micronutrients such as vitamin A, zinc, iron, folic acid and other vitamin B nutrients. This food fortification project is part of the European Union's commitment to reduce the number of stunted children under the age of 5 globally by at least 7 million in the year 2025. The main objective of this euro costing 4.4 million is to improve the nutritional standards both intake and health components of vulnerable women and children in the Gambia. The food fortification project aims at improving the food and nutrition security of vulnerable women and children and all people in the Gambia with the specific objective of focusing on ensuring access to and consumption of micronutrient rich foods industrially fortified as well as biofortified with cohesive strategies to promote better nutrition outcomes. Cognizant of the fact that nutrition is not a single sectoral issue, but a cross-cutting issue of national development, the National Nutrition Agency, which is located under my office, has been charged with the responsibility for better coordinating nutrition and nutritional related activities across sector in the country. Micronutrient deficiency are called hidden hunger because people who are affected sometimes it does in so physically. But what it does to growth, what it does to development is very catastrophic. I want to express our gratitude and the appreciation to the European Union, which has really been a very genuine partner. I also want to thank FAO, which has really been an agency very special to my heart because they are closer to the people who matter. <laughs>